Hello, my name is Mary Gardner and I'm the assessor for Groton and I'd like to give you an update on the 2021 revaluation of real estate. In September of 2020, Groton contracted with Tyler Technologies to perform the reappraisal project, which Tyler has performed successfully for Groton for the prior five revaluations since 2001. My office has a good working relationship with the appraisers and the project managers, and we went into this project expecting the high level of professionalism that Tyler has always provided. Their knowledge of Groton's neighborhoods and its commercial tax base gave me confidence in the outcome of this project. Per Connecticut state statutes, my office creates and values five grand lists every year, motor vehicles, supplemental motor vehicles, business personal property, and both the taxable and exempt real estate. All of these add up to what we refer to as the grand list. This grand list is reported to the finance director once a year, usually at the end of January, and she uses this information in conjunction with the town and the Board of Education budgets to set the annual mill rate. As a rule of thumb, the mill rate is reduced whenever there is growth in the overall grand list, and alternatively, the mill rate can be increased whenever the overall grand list retracts, depending on the overall budget amount. Revaluations in Connecticut are scheduled by state statute to occur every five years. In contrast, the motor vehicle and the personal property grand lists are treated differently in that they are established new every year and are always assessed at 70% of current market value. The real estate values are established only once every five years and affected only by new construction or demolition during the in-between years. In the years leading up to a revaluation, market forces on real estate have the effect of moving away from the 70% assessment level, either falling behind or gaining in value since the prior reval project was completed. Setting the real estate values back to the 70% level of assessment is the sole purpose of conducting a revaluation and is required by state statute. Establishing true and actual market value is the language of the Connecticut general law. The goal of every reval project is to eliminate any inequities that have developed since the implementation of the previous revaluation. This is accomplished by updating the appraisals of real estate to reflect their true and actual fair market value as of the revaluation date or October 1st of 2021. Upon the implementation of the reval, there is a rebalancing of the town's real property tax burden among its taxpayers, residential and commercial. This event brings the real estate property tax distribution back in line with the other grand lists that are already at the 70% level of assessment. When we began this project, we recognized that real estate values were now higher than in 2016, which was the last reval in Groton. If you have been following the sales in your own neighborhood, you'll recognize this trend. As a certified assessors, we are required by statute to consider the same methods of appraisal as banks and certified appraisers, the comparable sales approach, the cost approach, and the income approach to value. Once Tyler and my office finalized the valuations, informal hearings were held in December with Tyler staff to allow taxpayers the opportunity to provide further information for consideration. Tyler has now completed those hearings and the decisions have been mailed to property owners. All Connecticut towns conducting revaluations are required to report the outcome of that revaluation project to the state Office of Policy and Management and to report whether or not the outcome meets the statutory testing standards. And as expected, Groton's revaluation project easily passed the statutory testing standards due to the large volume of arm's length sales and the high quality of accurate data that my staff maintains. We are now working hard to certify the grand list by January 31st. Once the grand list has been certified, appeals may be scheduled with the Groton Board of Assessment Appeals. A written application is required by statute and will be made available in the assessment office and online and is required to be filed with the assessment division on or before February 20th of 2022. One note, 
The application must be physically received in our office, and February 20th is a Sunday. Town offices are closed Saturdays and Sundays, as well as Monday, February 21st, for President's Day. And postmarks are not accepted as a timely filing. We strongly suggest that any taxpayer requesting an appointment with the Board of Assessment Appeals consider February 18th of 2022 as the last day to file an application for an appointment with the Board of Appeals. Please contact the Groton Assessment Division at 860-441-6660 or contact me directly at mgardner at groton-ct.gov. That is m-g-a-r-d-n-e-r at groton-ct.gov for any questions regarding the revaluation project or questions applying for an appeal with the Board of Assessment Appeals. And thank you.